Lady Louisa Windsor seems to have renounced the title of princess, but based on circumstantial points, it seems to be true. Louise has no intention of taking the title of princess, unbecoming a professional royal working for the monarchy as a senior member of the royal family. To begin with, her parents, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, refused to give the titles of princess and prince to their daughter and son Louise and James at birth, saying they would defer the matter until they were of age. There, Louise and James would make the decision for themselves, and until they came of age, they would live the most ordinary lives possible. The children were eventually given courtesy titles, and to this day are called Lady Louisa Windsor and James, Viscount Severn to him also, after his father, Prince Edward, became Duke of Edinburgh, the title of Earl of Wessex passed. Everyone was anxious to see what decision Lady Louisa would make, but she turned 18 and there was no change to her title. The other day, Queen Elizabeth's youngest granddaughter was spotted driving a used Volkswagen Polo, which she reportedly saved up for by working at a garden center, earning 6.83 an hour. Her duties included working the till, she also had to greet customers and prune plants. According to a royal family insider, she was polite and attentive at work and loved her job. The source said, the idea for the summer job came from Louise herself. She was saving up money for her first car, which she could practice driving on the private roads of the Windsor estate. The amount she had saved from her first job was matched by her parents, and she bought a second-hand blue VW Polo and passed her driving test on her first try. King Charles's niece graduated last year with four A-level grades in English, History, Politics and Drama, which secured her a place to study English at St. Andrews University, where Prince William and Kate Middleton once met. A close family friend claims, Louise said that unlike her cousins, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, she did not want to use her full title in everyday life after discussing it with her parents. Louise is a sweet, sincere, practical girl without an inflated sense of self-importance. She doesn't see the need to use jewelry as she calls titles, which can often attract more attention than they mean to her and than she needs. This means that Louise will always be a member of the royal family, but not a full-time professional member of the royal family. She's more like Zara Tyndall and her brother Peter Phillips, they also have a number of royal birthrights, but are not balcony royalty. Earlier in the interview, Sophie revealed that she and Edward were determined to give their children a normal upbringing. They go to a normal school, they go to friends' sleepovers and parties. On weekends, we go on lots of dog walks and stay at friends' houses. I don't think everyone's grandparents live in a castle, but it doesn't matter where you go or who they are. When they are with the Queen, she is their grandmother. There has been no official word on this yet, and no Buckingham Palace has reported Lady Louise's refusal.